Hi, Lance from ThetaTraders.com here. Also got my father, the best element periodic table. So I'm a high school chemistry teacher. And in this video, I wanted to go over recent trades that I did in my futures account. I'm gonna look at the consistent passive profits in the last few weeks, and also trades that I have in my current account. If you like this video, click like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, helps out the channel. Appreciate all your support and let's get right to it. Hey, real quick guys, gonna go over consistent passive profits. Uh, these are the alerts that we are looking at in the last few months. So you're able to get the weekly future recommendation and say where the MES uh, futures contract is, typically go about 26 to 32 or so days out. And we look to like really far out of the money for a decent premium. Let's say what your cash to leave on the side is to do a span margin. Also, what your returns will be and the deltas. And then um, before the trade, we look at exactly what type of strike prices and expirations we're looking at. Um, if you just look on the chat box, you can see a lot of different comments from other members about asking questions about the strike or how to manage positions. We have some people that are closing these earlier, which is perfectly fine. And then we have some others that are interesting, just let it expire worthless. <laughs> So if you look in the um, lifetime free trial that we posted last week, uh, I posted different trades that we'll take a look at. So we did a put credit spread on Apple on Friday. Um, the stock price is at 160, sorry, 177. And then we sold a 165 put, bought the 160 put. You can make about 0.22, 0.23 on that. So you get about 4.4 or so percent return. Um, also did a one, one, two trade where we sell two naked puts and then buy a put debit spread. <clears throat> so here we took in two, um, naked puts at 20.25 credit. And then we bought a little bit of a hedge with the put debit spread for 8.25. Typically close these around 90% profit as well. The naked puts were 18.9% out of the money. So really good cushion, very passive. You just waited out in a lot of cases, 112 days out. Typically close these around 90 to 98 days on average, and you actually end up getting a good return, about 10, 11% on your money in the three months with a free uh, debit heads in place. I uh, also did a strangle on gold recently. Had a 0.05 delta on both sides. Took 6.3, so $630 in this. It used about $6,000 in your buying power plus cash on the sideline. So you're initially getting about 10% on your money in three months here. But we're going to usually close it out earlier. Try to close around 50% profit at 3.2. And then you can stop it out at about 18.9. Uh, based on probabilities, this trade has about a 95% chance of working out because we're looking at a strangle, 0.05 delta on both sides. But you're closing at 50% early. It's pretty much the 0.05 delta on one side. So about 95% chance of it profiting out. If we did this trade 100 times and you make 310 each time, you have about $29,000 in the wins. The five times or so you stop out, you would lose 1260 times five or 6,300. So if you take the difference of these, it does good, show a good positive expectancy. Um, also did a Zoom call recently with members. So if you're in Theta Traders, we do these monthly. And did another strangle on MCL, just a smaller account. So this only used about, I think it was around seven, eight hundred dollars total buying power plus cash. Take in about seventy six dollars, close it out at half that, so about thirty, you know, eight dollars or so. So not not a bad return. Typically happens in around thirty days out. So these are just the type of trades that we look at and the, the traders. You also get access to uh, the different trade log here. So 112 for MES. These are the current positions we have open. This is the new one that I just opened on Thursday evening. What's good about these in futures is you could actually open these in the evening if you're really busy working there today. Um, I did this on Thursday night because I knew Friday would be a bit of a busy day. We also have a covered strangle in place still. 
Um, did this on 804, sold the 4380, bought the 4260 put. And took in 39 in premium. It's getting pretty close to closing this out at about a third, about a 75% profit. Usually for a little bit higher profit on these, and would be a good overall return of about two and a half, three percent on your total buying power plus cash in less than a month. Um, these are for consistent passive profits. You can see how we are still at 100% win rate on all of the trades this year. The last one did get pretty close um, with the 42.90 strike price, but it ended up closing a little bit above that. So looking for a consistent two and a half, three percent in about 26, 33 days or so. So it's looking good all around. The credit spreads had a few stop outs recently. So we had to buy to close a couple of these a little bit early because the market was dropping a lot. But we didn't want to necessarily, you know, get to a max loss situation where you're under that strike price. So, for instance, UPS, it was at 177 and it dropped right away to 168 within about a week or so. So, we have a 165 strike. We ended up just closing it out at that case near a 3x stop. Um, there's a few other ones that are relatively close in play here. So, we sold AI 25, 20, and we're at 29. It's taking an eye on it. Uh, most of these are still good. So, did have a few stopouts this month in the credit spreads. Might be a break even or a slight loss overall in all the trades. However, when we looked at the end of April, so April 18th expiration, um, the only stopout we had was on Tesla. Every other trade was a profit. And as you can see, we're getting good returns on these credit spreads from the 818 expirations getting four, five, six percent. And the average days in trade, we're looking at the total average for all the trades is about 12 days. But here we're looking at a little bit extra time because the market was dropping a bit. Um, however, if you're able to get, you know, three and a half, four percent on most trades, even with an occasional stop out, you're still going to have good overall returns that way. So again, this is just a general outlook on how the market and how our trades are doing. Um, should be set up for a pretty good month in September and October with a lot of these 112 trades. Quite a few of these are getting close to the trap, like 4350, 4300, 4400, 4500. So a lot of these might hit the trap where we're actually able to get you know, actually $250 on our put debit spreads. So a lot of interesting going on at betatraders.com. If you're interested, you can join in this free seven-day trial, betatraders.com. We'll give you access to all the lifetime channels in the seven days, so you can take a look at everything that we do. And if you're still interested, we could get you in the lifetime plan. If you're interested in stock-based alerts, we could do that. We can get the credit spreads, zero DTE and whatnot. If you're interested in just futures, we could set you up with that as well. So again, I'm Lance from betatraders.com. Hopefully you found this video interesting and informative. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, like always, and happy trading.